Hello, good morning viewers. This tutorial is mainly for my fellow math teachers out there. I would like to show you the logic I apply while simplifying algebraic expressions using the four basic operations for like and unlike terms, especially in the lower classes. So now let us start with addition. Let's add like terms. Suppose we want to add 3e and 2e together. Some student might think what the hell is this e so you can always relate the unknown variables with something real or natural because students like to be connected in real life in mathematics so let's assume this e stands for egg so it means 3x and 2x together you see you have 3x and 2x together they have the same kind making 5x so this is equal to 5x. Suppose you have a basket, you have 3x inside, but you added extra 2 inside, you see you have 5 of them. So this is about like terms. What about if they are not like terms? Suppose we have 2e plus 2b. Now we can relate e with egg and b with banana. Let me show you that they cannot be added together because they are not like terms. Egg is entirely different from banana. Suppose I have a basket here and I have two eggs inside and I have two banana. So if you were asked how many items are in this basket, quite sure we have four of them but of different kind. Two eggs, two bananas. The only relationship they have is the number. They have the same number, 2, 2. So the only thing you can say here is that you have two of egg and banana. Because the only thing they have in common is two. So this is about addition. Now let us move on to subtraction. So first I have 5e and I want to take away 2e. 5 eggs take away 2 eggs. If I have a basket containing 5 eggs and we want to take away 2 eggs from this basket, you see we have taken away 2 eggs. What is left is just 3. So we have 3 eggs here. You see, relating variables with something natural or real will make students understand even more better. This is about subtraction of like terms. So what about if the terms are not the same? Suppose we have 3e minus 2b, uh, where e stands for egg and um, b stands for banana. I already have my 3x here. These are 3x in the basket. And you're asked to take away two bananas from this basket. I cannot even see a single banana in this basket talk less of removing it out so this is not possible because they are not like terms so you can only leave this expression as it is nothing more but suppose the numbers are the same you can relate the numbers but for the variables which are egg and banana cannot be simplified all right let us move on to multiplication if you have three e multiply by 2. What does this mean? It means, uh, suppose this e is an egg, we have 3x times 2, meaning you should double the x. We have 3x times 2, meaning you should double it. Double it, you see we have double it the same quantity, making 6 of them. So this is equal to 6 of this x, because we are asked to double it. What if we have something different? Suppose we have 3x multiplied by 2 bananas. Is it possible? So what does this mean? It means that 2x, where E stands for X, should be double. And the 2 bananas should be triple. So let's see. Suppose we have 3x. And we want to double that. You see, we have another 3x. 
Uh, suppose we have two bananas, two bananas, but we want to triple it. You see, we have another banana, another banana. Can you see that? Two bananas has been tripled and the three X has been doubled. In each case, you see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So eggs are now six and bananas are now six as well. So you see we have six of eggs and bananas. So this is equal to six E E B. Let us move on to division, which is the last one. Suppose we have 6x divided by 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6x because we want to relate e with x. 6x divided by 2, you can see we have divided the x into two equal parts. We have 3, 3. You can see we have 3x. If you divide 6x into two equal parts, you have 33. 